Hey there everybody, it's Kelly with kellyscards.ca and welcome to What's in My Stash. So for this week we're going to talk about stamping tools. We will discuss inks later, but for now we are going to discuss acrylic blocks, the Misty, some cleaners, etc. So to start out, these blocks here I've had for a really, really long time. These are from Inka Dinka Do. I really liked them because they weren't straight and they have these little marks here in the side, these little grooves for you to put your fingers. And this just helps to be able to grip the block better. They also have a good variety of lines. I use these quite often, especially for the bigger stamps as well as this little one. I use this one quite a lot. I probably don't use the middle size one as much but they are good blocks and then not that long ago probably within the last year I bought a couple of these lawn fawn ones and I really like these. They've got the lines on them as well in the middle uh, and across so you can get it nice and centered and again it's got the placement for your fingers which is really really helpful again I bought the small one as well I use this one all the time I always get a good impression when I'm stamping I find these are just such good blocks and they're just again with the grip it makes them easy to use I also have another tool. I've had this one for actually years. This is actually my second one. The first one, the lines had worn off. I'd used it so much, but this is a newer one. I actually purchased this right before I bought the Misty. And this one here is a stamp press. It's got these little foam feet so you can squish it down in an even fashion. And it's got these lines on here as a grid, which will help line up your stamp onto this, and then you can press it on straight. So just to illustrate how this works, I just put a stamp on to here, and we'll just do this flower. I'm just going to ink this up with this new Gina K ink, and get that on there nicely. And I'm going to bring my paper in and then you can kind of shift this where you want it and try to go down evenly and that's what I like about this. You can have a little bit of give and you can push down like this opposed to the acrylic blocks. The acrylics block you go down and you come off and that's it. Where I really like this stamp press is, is I can kind of keep it down to make sure I get a really good impression and I come up and then I have my flower stamped. So really like this product. For cleaning, there's a lot of products on the market. I did buy some of this Ink Essentials cleaner just for some more difficult inks to take off of the stamps. But in reality, all you really need is something like this. This is a chamois, and I do have a video which I will link at the very end of this video about these chamois. And you can go over to basically any place that sells these car chamois and you can cut smaller pieces and you're going to have a ton of cleaning chamois and it's just better than say baby way because this doesn't leave any fuzz on your stamps. I bought a big piece and it literally cost me nothing and so one of these little squares is, is like maybe a dollar but opposed to buying some of these more expensive chamois that are on the market at ten dollars each so I like that for cleaning so next I'll bring my mini misty in this one is the mini version there are I believe three sizes I really like the smaller one because it's just easier to store and I really don't need the bigger one so to start out this has this door on it and it's got this grid lines that are etched right into the glass. You can kind of see off of the light there. And basically I love that so that you can get anything that you're stamping nice and straight. It comes with this foam piece. Now if you use a thin stamp like these, these clear stamps, you can use it with this foam but if you're going to use a thicker rubber stamp then you need to take this piece out and just stamp like 
so and they, this is a very versatile way to have this product that you can use both your rubber stamps as well as your clear stamps now it comes with this grid paper here so that you can help line things up so really like that so I just want to talk quickly about the magnets that come with the mini I tend to only have a couple of them in here I find having too many is almost frustrating you really only need two or three. I like these circles because they're small and if you are going to stamp onto a small piece of paper then it just makes it easier to hold this down. Now you'll see the washi tape on and around each of these magnets. When they get stuck together it's impossible to take them apart and a bunch of crafters had shown videos where they did this. They took washi tape or other types of tape and wrapped it around these magnets. And that way, if it comes together, you can just pull it apart. And this is just really, really smart. I really think this is a smart idea because again, I bought a package of magnets and there was four together and it was like almost impossible to take them apart. They're very strong together. And this way, this just adds a little bit of material, this washi tape in between when the magnets come together and it just makes it easier that they can be pulled apart as you can see. A really cool tool that Simon Says Stamp has made is this misty grid transparency and at first I was like well what can you do with that and then as soon as I saw a couple people demonstrating it I'm like okay I need to have this so I'm going to stamp something now to show you how this transparency works and you can just put it inside on top of your paper and add the magnets here and now if I want this sentiment right in the middle I can use the grid marks on this transparency to be able to help me line this up. And maybe we'll just put it here and you'll basically close the door and this will come up and pick up the stamp and now it will be over here. Now we can remove our transparency and when we stamp it's going to be perfectly where we want it. So I'm just going to bring in a little of this new Gina K ink. And what I really love about the Misty, and of course it's obviously its number one selling point, is that you can stamp over and over in the same spot. So this is really good if you make the same card over and over and you're doing a lot of stamping. This will make things really fast, but the other thing is you can see I didn't really get a good impression there on that stamp. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp it again. And with this tool, you can stamp it a hundred times if you want and that is what's so great about this tool is you're pretty much going to get a good impression by using this tool and I like that now with the second stamping and that looks a lot better so again to clean off my stamp I'm just gonna bring my little chamois in here and use that to clean that off so for cleaning your Misty, this one here has the etched grid in the glass or in this plastic here and that way I don't have to worry about the type of product wearing off the line where it, on this Fisker stamp press the lines are actually not etched in at all they basically are printed on there and this can eventually wear off when you buy your Misty, you'll see that this is available as a cleaner. I bought this. I haven't really had much luck with this actually. I don't find it actually cleans uh, the Misty. And I have opted to use a mixture that I have made that's 50% water and 50% rubbing alcohol. And I just have it in this little spray bottle and I'll just squirt across, let it sit for about a minute that's your dwell time to let it get into the surface and make sure it's clean and then I will wipe it and buff it off with either a chamois or another cloth and I find this does a way better job cleaning it than this actual product here again you don't want to use this if you have printed lines say like on this stamp press but if you actually have this etched into the plastic you should be fairly safe and again I really like how it cleans the product another great product is this one here from Simon Says Stamp basically this is a refill 
for the pad that this comes with and it just inserts in here and again a lot of people like to use this grid to line up if you don't have this transparency this really helps to line your stamps up as well and if you get ink on it then you can just tear a sheet out and continue on the pad so really like that product as well so that will end this video on stamp tools and stamp cleaners. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Again, there's a lot of really great tools on the market. You don't have to buy them all. Just go through and see which ones you like better and find what works for you. For me, I love the acrylic blocks. I still use the stamp press now and again, so I do still have that. And of course, the Mini Misty is so wonderful. I really couldn't imagine stamping without it because then you can do that repeated stamping. So I hope this video gives you some information about these tools. You can check me out on my website at kellyscards.ca. You can subscribe for more videos and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.